Hey everybody, Gabe Suarez here from Suarez Tactics. So I'm going to do a number of short uh, video editorials on uh, questions that you guys send me on Facebook and Patreon uh, and at the, at the website at Suarez Tactics. Uh, I used to do write-ups, I used to write editorials, but no, nobody reads those anymore, so I'm just going to do stuff on video. Uh, anyway, so the, uh, the first topic... Um, the uh, the issue of the ATF brace ban. Oh my God! Everybody's all worked up about it. Um, look, um, I think that it is an overreach. I think it's illegal. Um, but historically, the guys with the most guys and the most guns, and the uh, imperial imperative, uh, well, they get to make the rules and they get to decide what's right and wrong. And so here we are. Okay, um, I looked at their paperwork and everything and honestly I I think it's a trap and I think you would be foolish to comply and foolish to attempt to get uh, the free SBR uh, registration and so on okay um, you know it's reading it and then looking at what the uh, political inclinations of this wonderful administration that we have been cursed with uh, is and you can't avoid putting two and two together and, and, and realizing um, what the end game is here or potentially what it is here. And, you know, I just, I don't, I don't feel like playing that game. So uh, what, what I've done is I have, uh, I have a number of uh, registered short barreled rifles. It's uh, weapons that have, uh, are legally capable of having uppers uh, of less than 16 inches. And uh, so um, I have taken my AR pistols. I've, I've got uh, three of them I had. Uh, I took them apart. The uppers are now designated as ancillary uppers for my short barrel rifles. Uh, and those three AR pistols have had the braces removed and uh, M4 stocks added and 16 inch uppers added. So there are no more AR pistols in my possession. They are now turned into other things. Uh, and that's what I suggest that you do. Um, and, you know, when the day comes that this is overturned and America comes to its senses, well, then, you know, you can reconfigure them at your, at your will. Um, but, you know, you will be safe in the interim from the excesses of the king. So that's my opinion on that. Uh, you know, guys can want to argue and say, well, I'm going to do this and I'm going to, well, that's great. You know, you do you, uh, I'll do me. That I'm just telling you what I've done. Uh, I, 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 I'm not interested in being a test case. I'm not interested in being Benjamin Martin. I'm, I, I'm, I, that's not my thing. I, I'm not, I don't want that. I just want to be left alone. And so the way I've done it is that I have removed anything that potentially could uh, be seen as uh, extra legal and everything is now uh, super legal. And, and there we go. Okay, so uh, I suggest you do likewise. Now, my personal opinions on this, this brace band, who gives a shit, Okay. Uh, that doesn't matter. It, it's here, and, and we have to deal with it. Okay? It's kind of like the Chinese balloon. <laughs> you know? I mean, are you fucking kidding me? Uh, you know, I would have shot that thing down in a very spectacular and, and flamboyant manner the minute that it crossed onto U.S., uh, you know, airspace, and, and, and I would have lifted a big middle finger to China. And, and But you know what? I'm not president, and no one's ever going to elect me. Uh, so, so there you go. But just keep that in mind, you know, uh, in a couple of years when, uh, you know, we, we play this, this game again, um, you know, uh, and, uh, you know, elections have consequences and now you're seeing what those are. So, uh, no mean tweets, but no braces on your AR pistols either. Uh, you know, so here we go. Now, uh, the other uh, the other question, uh, there was actually a number of them relating to EDC. EDC refers to everyday carry. Uh, I did a video some time ago about what my everyday carry is, and people were astounded at how minimal uh, it is. And it's like, look, I am I'm a retired door kicker, uh, and I'm a businessman and a thought leader and a content creator and, you know, a bunch of other things that Samuel L. Jackson would probably be better saying than I. But... Uh, I'm not really in the business of hunting people anymore, and so I don't want to roll around like I am. Uh, I don't wear body armor anymore. I don't carry three pistols, you know, because I don't need to. That's not what my life is all about now. What do I carry? All right. I carry one pistol at the appendix position, 
Uh, these days, it's a CCP01, uh, you know, matter of fact, this guy right here, okay, the guys at Suarez International put it together for me. Uh, I really like it. I'm enjoying the double action feature, uh, and I shoot it as well as I shoot anything else, okay? Uh, I carry a spare magazine on the opposite side. Um, it's a, uh, let's see, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 23 round magazine uh, for the CZ. Uh, when I was running Glocks, and I may run Glocks again, who knows? Uh, it was a, uh, uh, our gutter snipe, which was uh, a Glock 17 cut down to 19 length, something that Glock is now copying. Uh, and I'd carry a 24 round stick opposite that with a one shot extension uh, for 25 rounds. And that's, that's what I would carry. That is what I fight with if I have to fight. Um, if I'm going to be away from home, meaning I go down to Phoenix or Tucson or some other places, uh, I may add uh, a couple of other magazines at about the 7 o'clock position. So I carry three, three spare magazines. Okay, uh, And I may slip a lightweight J-frame revolver into one of my pockets. Uh, but that's that's it. Uh, knives. I usually carry Spyderco, you know, to open mail and you know in case you got to cut somebody's throat. Uh, I, I don't carry three or four knives or anything like that. Uh, I don't carry a light with me. I have a light in my vehicle. In every single vehicle, I've got at least a couple of lights. Um, why don't I carry it on my person? Because I just I just don't. Okay. If I'm going to go into a dark environment, I will grab the light and bring it with me. Um, and uh, you know that's it. Uh, when I'm in the city, there is enough light for me to see where I'm going, to see if somebody wants to fight with me, to see where my car is, to see all of that stuff. And if the lights go out, well, you know what? I'll manage. But I'm you know, going to be 63 this year, and I don't remember ever being in an urban environment where the lights just went out suddenly. And then when they did, that there was no ambient light to see anything at all in front of my face. Uh, yeah, it just it doesn't happen, Okay. Uh, if you feel differently, just slip a flashlight in your pocket. It's it's no big deal. They make them really small now, uh, and uh, and you keep them with you. You know, and if I'm if I'm going someplace that might get dark, yeah, I'll I'll, t I'll put a flashlight in my pocket. It's not a big deal. It's not a white light weapon. It doesn't turn night into day. It just makes it easy for you to see your surroundings when it gets really really dark. That's it. Okay. Um, people were also astounded that I don't carry a, a chest seal and and a tourniquet and, and and a bunch of other stuff. Um, I, I don't. Um, you know, I do have all of these things in my vehicle, uh, should I need them. And I keep that stuff in my office here. I keep them in various locations around the house, but I don't walk around with it on my person, um, because I don't see a need, uh, for my life at this stage, um, that I need to be so equipped. Um, now what I'll tell you is this, should you know how to take common things in your environment and use them? Uh, not only as, as medical uh, assets, but also as weapons. Absolutely. I mean, I'm sitting around, I got pens everywhere, I got a pair of scissors over here, I got heavy stuff everywhere. And you know what? I've also got a belt that I can turn into a tourniquet. I've got, you know, a shirt that I can rip up and turn into a tourniquet or stuff a wound with or, or, or whatever. So, you know, there are, um, there are uh, skills and there are tools. And I think a lot of guys get overly fixated on tools and not so much on skills. All right. So anyway, that's, that's it. I'll probably do another one next week on, uh, you know, what you should carry in your, in your vehicle. Uh, again, I'm, I'm very minimalist guys. You know, I mean, there's guys that roll around and they may as well be in an armored Humvee rolling down Scottsdale road, you know, and it's like, what's the point, you know, um, minimal, maximal skills, minimal equipment, um, you know, and uh, that served me pretty well, and, and that's that's the way I roll. So, um, and I know guys are going to ask about about this guy right here. So this was uh, this was a gift given to me by um, a uh, a good friend uh, whose call sign is Sua Sponte. Uh, T, if you're if you're watching, you know that's uh, that's yours, brother. And uh, you know it uh, it's got some it's got some serious meaning to me. Uh, it's it's been some interesting places. And, uh, you know, given the state of affairs around the world, this is the flag that we that we serve under today. So, um, but anyway, that's it. So, uh, more questions, guys, feel free. Post them down in the comments. Uh, and, um, you know, I'll see you next time.